Recording begins. So here I am. We're back in this shit. After all those years in the underground, I think we already... the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Time to find out. Okay, this again. No, no problemo. Rose, anything off yet, darling? Yes. <laughs> Here. Let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? One. It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, Look get back to Metro and his old life, metal. the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. What is that guy? And now I'm looking at this fog. Thinking it could special. actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. <sighs> Damn it! I can't fire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! <laughs> Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Report to the bridge! On the double! Fuck you! Should... Fuck you! That's me! Oh shit! Oh! Is that... Is there a valve there? Or is that where we got shot? Even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Anna. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna. You cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day. Let's please. go, Artyom. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare Arthur, the Aurora. Don't for forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable yeah. workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move okay. out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Okay. Well, I gotta it. say, that was one flimsy roadblock. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? 
We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. So I guess, yeah, this is more roadblock that'll have to be cleared. Lucky the train didn't derail, but then again, looks like it would take quite a bit to derail a train as big as this. I don't know if, like, locomotives like these ever even existed in Russia. As far as, like, fucking gigantic guys with, you know, this is what, how many bogeys we got up front? Is that just two, two leading wheels? This is a two, four, no, it's a two, eight, eight, four. That's like having this whole double piston thing existed, but not very often. There were like two American trains that had that. I don't know if any Russian ones did though, but who knows what what crazy post-nuclear war Mos Muscovites would put together. Going down. Going down. <laughs> that was great. I really wish this gun spring hey, wasn't exposed. What was that? Could you check it out? Okay. I wish I knew what I was getting from these guys when I when I did that. Okay. There was nothing. I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. done Look, the thing in this home. Rabbits. <laughs> I wish they'd done the thing in this game where the in-game watch showed the time in real life. Or at least, you know, showed like your computer's clock time. Yeah, I guess this one's like the in-game time, so... Hmm. Place my pistol. This is oh, Biester the gun. Here we go. Crafting material. Crafting material. So. For this thing. That's right, so I can choose that stock or iron sight. For this thing. Put a silencer on it. Uh, do that. It already has a sight. That's good. Everything else? Alright. Yes, there's a gun. This 
so that's my old pistol. All right. My gun's all muddy. See the map. Okay, so that's on on the boat, I guess. those two. Now I'm over here. Look at that. Jesus. is that? That's the question. 1980? Wow. Maybe this place was abandoned before the war. Rosim vi poru sobirim 
Povidli, povidlo guru. What is this? Fucking peppers? Pickles? God, something keeps sounding like a guinea pig. I hope that there aren't, like, giant ferocious guinea pigs. So this is the tower she's going to climb up. I wonder if I can climb up there. Probably not. It's an Ana only kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> well. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Okay, how's she gonna do this? Damn, okay. She's fucking hardcore. See you like right there. I don't know. Makes sense. Mm. Oh, an accordion. Ah. Oh wow. There was hidden. There's... Oh, just the person. More, uh... Yeah. Orthodox. Balalaika. Excuse me. Oh! Shabka. Hmm.
Oh. There's a fire in the top of the church. Oh my god. Fucking shrimp. What a fucking gorgeous game. Look what the what it Look at those skinny ass leg shadows. That's just embarrassing, Archie. Come on. You gotta do something about those men. What is this? What the hell? gun. So, here, I can put better shit on it. Yeah. We're installing this one. Okay, looking good. There we go. Now that's a bastard gun. Can I... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a new feature. Being able to click it that fast. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, looks like there's some stuff in there, though. Oh. Some shotgun shells. So this is like a single shot shotgun. Except it can't replace... Well, I can't... It has to replace one of my other two weapons. And having an AK and a battered gun seems like a better combo than either of those in a fucking single shot... shotgun thing. So I think I'll stick with what I have.
up or Okay, not going that way. <coughs> Jesus, okay, I'm coming. Why do the birds like my boat so much? What is this? A crow boat? <laughs> uh, there we go. I figured it out. Okay, well I guess I'll stop digging around for a bit. Come say hello. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. Okay. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed and welcome. Thanks, bud. Let's see. Cherkov, Tsarya, Vodyanogo. This is beautiful. Reflections on my watch. Here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. 
Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'm trying to sneak down to a boat. kind of disappeared. And just like Father Silentius said, the man was sent by the devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of vanished. I see him. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, damn. This guy's got some good shit. I'll just take the modif- oh, and that's just a pistol, okay. Not yet. Take some modifications off of that. I'll just be on my merry way. Oh. Uh, what? off this light. Well, so this is, you know, this is a candle to, originally to Jesus, but they've, looks like they're worshipping that fish, and there's a fish, fish thing, so I'll turn it out, because that's blasphemous. Is that you, Danya? Could you walk me to the loo? Uh-oh. I can handle the corridor, but the ladder... Mm. Why are you breathing so hard? Is it you, Boris? You could walk me. I can't wait any longer. Help me out! Sorry, lady. No. You're not Boris. These guys moving. Oh, so pretty. Why Trying to get to a boat, right? Yeah. I'll just, uh, can I? Oh, nice. I got a boat. And off I go. They'll never catch me. Yeah. 
don't. You're like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. So I've got to take Katya and Nastia to the Aurora, so be there. Check them out. Looks like you can roll straight there from your position. I'm a real ninja, oh, but okay. Well, not super happy about these shrimp. Please <laughs> don't. Jesus Christ, that boss is. Um. Die! Oh. Oh, it jammed. Oh, there, it's jamming. Fuck. Can I. Can I row again? That's why it's firing so slow. It's jamming. Like it's, the mud is actually. Oh god. Oh no. Huge. So how do I clean? Okay, see, I was at this the part old before. Man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Uh -oh. Here, though, we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. There's this plane there. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. Okay, so I was at this part before. We're right about where I got to first time around. And, uh, and I would noticed my gun was getting visibly muddy. And then I got to that part and I was like, wow, my fire rate is so much slower before. And then I used this gun and after just like a few bullets, it like stopped firing. And I could see that the front of it was all red, you know, it got overheated, it got really hot. And I was like, oh shit. The bastard gun overheats super fast. But this time it happened with the AK and now I've realized like, oh, it's because they're really muddy. That's what's going on. So that's pretty interesting. So I'll see what's going on in this aeroplane. Zero, like, how do I clean my my weapons? That's one thing. Oh, that's right. I have a new stock for this. Sniper stock greatly reduces recoil. Sure, I guess. Oh. Oh, so now this is like... This is a more serious, yeah, bastard gun now. Let's see. 
So in this thing, yeah, it's like I can choose. This is a press barrel, or the standard barrel. I guess I'll stick with the standard barrel for now. Because, yeah, this one has less accuracy and less damage. If I'm shooting at mutants or something, then. So now, this one, I can also put a cool scope on it. Which I really don't like the look of the scope that much, compared to how... The little red dot sight works, but uh, definitely this big scope is very good utility though for zooming in, and it does, I mean, they did do a good job with how it looks. I just really love these red dot sights. Oh, there's a tape. I didn't see this before. I feel so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying, and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others... They have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but... I could still be alive. Anyways... We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to wait and see about that. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't. I didn't see that before. So I guess he's the origin of the. This military-looking plane is the origin of the rail guard or whatever. skewered. where we came from. I wonder what happens if I just run this way.
Oh, do I have sprinting stamina in this game now? Fuck. Damn. That was not a thing in the previous games. Wow. Artyom cannot run very far, but then again... <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to handle it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I thought it was just going to kill me with radiation if I went too far that way, but... <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> you are Artyom. Artyom walks in this direction, and then he gets there and he's like, Wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? It just turns around. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, let's look at the map, actually. Okay. So this isn't a huge area or anything. I don't think. I've seen, like, you know, a good quarter of it already. But I guess each of these structures and things can hold quite a bit, so... <laughs> Alright, let me go back to the actual thing. Basically, other than this little excursion... Like, once I've gone and talked to everybody, I'll be right back where I was before, and then everything after that will be new. Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. A moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Artyom Thank stop you. By my and your wife is great. She's kind, really strong. Thank you, Auntie. Uncle Artyom and Auntie Artyom. Anna. As I always said, you lucked out with me. Hey. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Artyom, now I Come over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Clist is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Clist to join us. Let's get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. 
In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. Uh -oh. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Uh -oh. Katya, Nastya, come have some How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. Oh. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? <coughs> ah. It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. <laughs> Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty sick. And don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. A few ideas for improving it. Can I go up here? Okay, so here I can I can craft seal balls and I have twenty and I can use ten of my things. Yeah, okay. So now I have thirty. Let's have forty. Throwing knife da -da -da. So, there's the light grip in the sniper when that's installed. I'll keep it that way. Alright. That's right, the last thing I did in my first getting to this point was seeing if I could take this 4 time scope off of this and put it on here, but I couldn't. So, I know I can't do that. So I don't think I have anything else to do. Oh wait, I didn't actually look to see if... Are my other weapons clean now? No, how do I... How do I get this clean? Bastard. T-R. Yeah, see, this is so dirty. How do I make it clean? I don't know. That could be problematic. Oh, Katya. Where are you at from? This is in Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nasty and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh. We call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes. Where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons, and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. Oh my god. 
No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here. Some fucking... With people seeing things like that every day. Borscht. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just mm -hmm. like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse. But Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no. It's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Artyom, are you going to the port? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. Okay. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. Okay. Until Grant gave me the flashlight, but Salantos got mad and smashed it. So this time I actually got to see that demon attacking the train. So I guess that's what took the teddy bear. Uh-oh, that's sunset. Oh, well, this is so fucking gorgeous. How do I... Uh, R is hide you. I don't actually know a button for taking. I guess this option only really affects the depth of field. Oh, just tilt. Oh. Oh. Wow. Strange. Okay. Well, back to the game. So, right now, just heading off this way. I have not done this at all. Nighttime, God. <coughs> this could be dangerous. There's a whole building over there. <coughs> How do I get over to that? Hmm. Well, I guess I just have to take the boat. Or can't wait, do I take the boat? I have to take the boat like all the way around the port. Or maybe I can cross over there. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. I might go do that first, actually. been hung. Oh! So this is... That's an AK. I'm glad I came here first. Ah, oh, 
thank goodness. Standard shit. I also got a flash suppressor. So this actually increases the rate of fire. And but uh decreases damage. Hmm. It's got more accuracy though. I might do this. I think, I guess I'll keep, I really don't actually want to use this four times scope for combat in general, but I guess it's just good for looking around at things. Is it raining? It is, wow. Oh my goodness, this noise. Hey, will this clean my guns? I hope so. See, where am I? All the way back here? Okay, well, I can be more quick this time. So, so I've already yeah. heard that conversation and stuff. How do I clean my fucking weapons? That's what I need to know. Is there a control? Fire, aim, throw secondary, holster. Oh, I guess the, this thing has different kinds of ammo it can have or something. Okay. unreliable my weapons are going to be. I might go ahead and put a close range sight on the AK so that I can actually use it in, uh, in close quarters when my bastard gun inevitably fucking kills itself. Actually, stick with this for now. How do I clean them?
just that same one. God damn. What am I supposed to do about those? Try shooting the strong shells. Try shooting the unprotected sections. Oh man. I don't know what the unprotected section is. I need to. So this game actually does have a quick save button now and quick load, so. I need to start remembering to actually use that. So, Katya! Where are you at from? Let's see. Uh, controls, yeah, keyboard, miscellaneous, quick save is F5. F5 is the button I need. What is hints? Weapon cleaning. Look for a workbench, which will allow you to properly clean the weapon. The workshop on the Aurora not only allows for cleaning weapons and crafting ammo and other supplies, but includes a, includes a gun rack. Let me see if I can. Is there a workbench? A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the. He said he was gonna make one here earlier. Maybe he hasn't made it yet. He's like still working on it, so you just have to have an extremely dirty weapon for this part of the game. Maybe I should just use the Tihar since it's clean. Could have known that fanatics were in control now. Maybe I should use the AK. again.
maybe that makes this gun more reliable. And I'll actually be able to do things with it. That's the dream. really working for me? I don't know. Maybe this time I can avoid being seen. Saving is even a thing at this point. Oh my god, these visuals, the fucking water. This is incredible. Like the rain, specifically. I really wish this would clean my weapons. But I mean, I guess you wouldn't really expect, uh. Just rain and rubbing your with your gloves would be enough to Oh, there's a baby one. Baby shrimp. Popcorn shrimp, everybody. I could actually go for some popcorn shrimp. Made it onto this dang boat. What do you got for me? Oh! Is that still a bastard gun? A Molotov cocktail. I actually don't know the control for switching what my throwable is. So right now I think if I hit C it'll just throw a tin can. got standard barrel, heavy barrel. Oh, I probably want that, considering right now I'm not trying to be stealthy, I'm just trying to survive against mutants that apparently take quite a few bullets to kill. Oh, 
anything in here? Okay. That's alright. <laughs> I forgive you. So now I guess I just creep all the way back. I should have taken the boat here. Oh. That's a demon. I don't think I'm equipped to fight that yet. Hopefully I'll find that teddy bear somewhere. That'd be pretty sick. So I assume that, yeah, I can't climb this like Anna can. This is definitely starting to feel a lot like Stalker. <laughs> they did a good job with this. here. I am not Artyom. I am nobody. Okay, I fucking made it, Jesus Christ. This weather system is really good looking. Oh, man. Oh, I bet I could get to that boat too. God damn, might as well. <laughs> oh, no, I guess I can't make it to that boat. Well, I guess I can take my little boat to get to that boat. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh. There's a shrimp there. I wonder if I should test something out on it. charged thing. Well, that didn't, uh, it doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> hmm.
strange tracks. That thing's sleeping. Can I knife this in its sleep? How do I... My god. Well, at least this thing can fucking die. V is melee, but that didn't seem to do anything. And it looks like I threw something, which was probably just a can. Ah, that's how you choose. Okay. Okay, now I have knives selected. So next time when I find a sleeping one, I can just throw a knife. another boat. Is this the boat I was on before? Or is this a different one? Oh damn, that's the boat I was on before. I didn't have to go all the way around. Oh well. I'm glad that there isn't just one boat and they're kind of scattered around. Oh, okay. What have we here? Something spooky. And we can't go in there. Oh my lord. Yeah, we'll light that. Okay, fucking giant double barreled shotgun. Okay, otherwise it's just one of those. So as cool as the T-Car is, um, right now, oh, a workbench, oh my god, okay, oh, and you can sleep here, ah, this is like a little save place, I think, I'm not really in need of the T-Har, oh no, oh, you have to keep the T-Har, oh, so I'd, I would have to exchange either the bastard gun or the AK for this. Okay, what can I do here? Ah, so here's where... Uh, I could craft ammo if I needed to. I only have five. These these are expensive. Wow. I can only craft like fifteen of these. Oh, but I can do a I guess my gas mask is all good. Ah, so I could uh put this compass on my watch. Nice, okay. Okay, we're gonna... It costs... Oh my god, it costs my... Materials to clean? Wow, these are fucking dirty, holy Christ. Okay, this is a survival game. I get it. 
Well, seems worthwhile. I have a lot of that stuff. So, 44 to clean this. So how much ammo do I have? I have a good bit of pistol ammo. How much? And now I only... Yeah, now I really can't craft much of this. Well... Alright, now I actually have a good few bullets. Can't craft... Oh, I only have two of those? Okay. I'm definitely, uh... So, I guess the T-car is like a permanent weapon. Interesting. It's perfectly clean. God, this is really aesthetic, like, being in this little hut in the rain outside. Like, this is so good. I think this is all how I want it to be. Oh, I really like the bastard gun, but I guess I'll replace it with, uh... Since I'm not using the AK for long range, I'll replace the bastard gun with the, uh... A shot. I can take all this stuff off of it. This needs some cleaning too, but at least oh, kind of a lot. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'll still take it. I only fire two shots at a time, so it's not as big a deal, I guess. All right. I've got that, the AK, and the T-Har. Now let's listen to this. Well, looks like I'm stuck here for good. I could sleep, but I don't really think I need to. Then, oh, there's an anomaly.
I guess these recordings are from probably the mechanic that I'm going to find. And he seems like a pretty swell dude. dead? They are, it looks like. Yeah, seems dead. Okay. How do I flip this over? bus thing before. There's more shrimps, there's the train. I get any more? Oh, I, I have two of that now. And cleaning this would have been like three. If I find a little bit more soon, I might just go back and clean it.
<laughs> oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. as well. Okay, screw this. I'm going back to the place for a bit. It takes 20 to crash one of these? Jesus. Cleaning cost 17. Oh, I guess it's it's gotten dirtier since I've had it out. My God. Well, I'll at least see if uh, I can sleep off the pain. to use my precious materials to get health back. Otherwise, though, it just functions as I can change it to day or night, basically, if I want. But I don't really see any reason to do that. <clears throat> okay. Time to just go find this guy. Can I just stomp on a bug? Probably. Thing that I discovered so high. Huh. I guess it just marked radiation on my map. Or like an area where I need a gas mask. It's a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Throwing knife works. Confirmed. Okay. 
Well, that was suboptimal. Man, and I was hoping there was going to be stuff in here. Oh, nice. Oh, I found Okay, so I didn't lose any knives. I got back all three that I threw. This guy's got another pistol. I feel like I sure do have a lot of pistol ammo, and I did clean the bastard gun. That area is a difficult area. Oh boy. That's the big fish. Oh my god. The good Kush. That's the one who has it. Fighting these things. Maybe the bastard gun would have been better. Just light? Here.
Uh oh. So that's locked. Oh, Lord. What do I do about this? Ah! I guess I just got too close that time. Whoa! Oh, there's another one! So I just need to have my gas mask on when I come across those. Is what I'm gathering. This is off. Ought to be one more knife around here. That I just threw. Where'd it go? Maybe I lost it. Well, thank goodness I'm finding. Oh, there it is. Wow, I did find it. Wow. I saw another place to go up before as well. This place is freaking huge. What's up here?
Oh god. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Oh boy. Okay. So now I've done all of that. I can take off this mask. Ah. So that's just a way to get there. So I have not been that way. Oh, what the hell? Oh my, what? It threw something. Something threw? Something? What? Oh! God. Okay, yeah, so we've got checkpoints. Let me see what it is. F5. Um, I'm just gonna look at my map. So that's right, so that's all area that I haven't been to yet. It's like further extension of where I'm going. This bastard. Oh my. This is still a regular AK. Nice. It's regular AK. Stand, barrel and compensator, sounds good. A laser sight, cool. Oh, but I guess the laser sight can go in any of them. So if I do take the laser sight off of this, I can put it on there. That is helpful. Oh, I have 54, so I can do some cleaning. Oh, well, I can't because I'm not at a workbench. Never mind. But I could, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, a couple of these. Yeah. Alright. God, surviving in this game is already proving to be harder than I was expecting it to be. Is that? Oh, he's he's the guy I'm trying to get to. Okay. Just see what's here. Oh, okay, there's 
there's not like a thing I can go inside of, it's just stairs. Jesus Christ, that fellow. Huh, so somebody's like camped out on that. There's the Aurora. There's the church. Somebody's camped out over there. This area is larger than I thought it was originally. I guess... So how am I... Getting up to this guy? Come up here, man! Oh, he's letting me on. Okay. Come up here, man! Well, actually, first I might, uh... Go looking around a bit. So I could definitely use some things. Especially if that action just there uh, did indeed clear out the ghouls. So if I go down into this building, how do I get back on top of it is the main question. Well, I'll go through this building another time. I'll just progress this for now. Hopefully I can get to like a good Come up here! stopping point and he can heal me. You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers are never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tarfish live there, you know. Stupid bastards. 
Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. I'm down for that. Okay, looks like just getting to this guy healed me, so that's always good. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Here's the palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So, if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. Nice. Ah, don't be shy. Thank you, kind soul. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You will never have second thoughts about picking me up. I have to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How bad they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> Alright, everything's clean. You have nothing to fear oh, I don't have much shotgun ammo yeah. left. The piece? Wow, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them? It's not, but you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. No, you could take the zipline down. Just hook up, and uh, away you go. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bullets, waiting for something. But I know they're bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead. I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at your train. See you at my train. I think for now I'm gonna go actually back down uh where's the ladder there it is i'm gonna go explore that building that i didn't go through real quick actually let me see what, what the game considers to be my current objective as well can i go back down this oh i can't go back down this i have to take the zip line ah well that's no biggie Um, adventure, time to go back to the Aurora, that's the next thing, okay. There we 
already got everything from here. Oh wait. Ah. More stuff. says crafting costs you get six or six and sixteen can I make f okay yeah Oh my god, what the hell? I just fell on him! Okay. Oh, well actually that seems like a good stopping point for now. You know, something new about to happen and all that. Okay. So good. Fucking hell, yeah, just this, uh, this very stalker-like. Very successful. Alright, goodbye.